So guys, right now, like I said, it's a perfect time to tell you everything about our trip. What exactly are we gonna do over there? Because our trip will have lots of bus stops in the Zakopane. That's why our first bus stop will be in a village close to the Zakopane, village Hohov. Over there, you will be able to see architecture of the Highlanders and also a very characteristic type of the church that is located over there. But the most important part about it is that, that I will be telling you some stories about the Highlanders, also overall information about the Zakopane, just to begin with something. And of course, everyone will have enough time over there to walk around the place and make some photos. That's right. After that, we, should spe we, we will spend around 15 to the 20 minutes we'll max. And then we are riding straight to the Batsufka. And Batsufka is just the name of the place where Highlanders are making the cheese. So mm -hmm. everyone will be trying Highlanders cheese, so Ossipek with cranberry jam and Queen's Vodka shops and of course after that everyone will have enough time to walk around the shop and of course if you of course would like to maybe buy some um, cheese for you after that after Batsufka um, we are heading to the center so the ride should, should take us 20 minutes to the center and over there everyone will have three hours of your free time right so I will lead you straight to the Google of Commodities Peak and of course I will share with the way how to get to the main square um, so basically like I said everyone will have three hours of, the, of your free time and the most important part about it is that it's your free time i will be giving you some recommendations but it's your decision how you would like to spend your time in a in a center in the city after three hours we are meeting on the meeting point and then um we are heading to the ski jump if anyone would like to see the ski jump from the bottom and make some photos we are stopping over there of course and our last bus stop it will be church Yashchurovka. We are stopping in this place because that's the, it is the, this church is recognized as one of the most beautiful monuments in the whole Zakopane. That's why we used to stop with our groups, of course. It is also a fantastic place to make some photos. The weather will be also fantastic, so there will be no any clouds in the air, so the views also will be stunning. So guys, right now, um, like I said, right now we're heading straight to the village Kohov. The road will take us one hour and 40. And I'm here, right? If you, of course, have any questions, I'm also here to answer your questions. So, yeah, I wish nice ride, guys. Thank you. Highlanders are sticking soft dust. Here you can see it from the closer view. You can of course come closer if you would like to. Sometimes my guests are telling me that that this soft dust looks like a rope. Uh, so the church as you can see right here is also very very special for this holy village and also for the Highlanders. Uh, and what about this church straight? Because it was built in 1857. Right, so it is also very all the cheese, 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 all the the best type of the cheese that you can try for the first time and of course everyone will get the best add-on to that cheese so you'll get um, cranberry jam and of course queen's vodka shot basically we will use to compare the, that cheese with the um, with the cranberry jam and the, like i said and the vodka and it tastes great so trust me guys and of course after you know, when you try the cheese and the vodka i will give you enough time to walk around the shop if you would like to buy some more cheese for you or maybe some souvenir because there's not only cheese are selling over there so like I said, everyone will have enough time to walk around the place over there. All right, so we should be there, like I said, in 15 minutes max. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
Excited, guy. <laughs> of course. Okay. Do you guys want some? Welcome, man. Cheers. 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 Mm. This is cheese. Me bread down. Para para bread, pero cheese wow. How is it? Good. It's cheese and cranberry. Mm. Oh. Vodka. That's about it. Yes, let's do it, please. Yes, of course. Cheers! I'm going to go to so, ladies and
We're going to end our tour eating this one only here in Poland. Mmm, I think this is the most. Not them. Hmm, for a whole Good, very good. Only here in Poland. It's um hot dog inside a uh, French bread with already ketchup on it. Panayin, you know what? So that make panayin again ketchup. The best donut here in Poland. I, I forgot the name. I'll search for it. Wow. Try it. Ito Nutella. Nutella daw? Wow. Good. Nutella. Let me try. Nasa nyo Nutella niyan. Okay. Amen. Ah, the Nutella is just on top. <laughs> Are you just donut with Nutella on top and another Nutella fill? fill. It's like chocolate. Eh. Mm. It's good, it's good. With this view. Very good, yeah. Nice. We're on the other side too. So. Nice. You were in the restaurant <laughs> that I recommended? No, no, we, uh, we did the... Uh, the hot dog sandwich, the one that you were eating. Yeah, yeah. I eat so good. <laughs> it's really so good, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> it was good. <laughs> it's so I was like, yeah, we're gonna try that hot dog <laughs> or sausage. Yeah, sir. Hello. Croquette in Polish. Basically, it means very big ski jump. And the ski jumps on the left side. They are for the training basically. When the young ski jumpers are training to be the professional, they are trained firstly over them. What about this ski jump straight? It was built in 1920, uh, but the most important part about the focus of building, how they were building them, the ski jumps, is actually that. Ano? Kaplika, kaplika na just for the Sacred Heart of Jesus. The Chapel of the Sacred Heart of Jesus.
Connected with sawdust without meals. Just like see you on Lego. Uh-huh. It's real wood. Oh my gosh. Seven nineteen twenty-five years here. Talagang inanunya yung alunya. What's this? What's it The name Jack Squirrel uh, comes from spotted salamanders which once live at the place and were called Jesco's Spirit Wizards for the local mountaineers. Mm -hmm. This shop. <laughs>